Hello there, this is Brett Lonsdale from Lightning Tools and uh, welcome to the Getting Started video for Lightning Forms. So before we do get started into the product, I just wanted to first of all show you around the Help Center for Lightning Forms and then we're going to jump into the product and I'm going to show you all around that so that you can start to build the form that you need for your organization. So first of all, on the lightningtools.com website, we can go up to the customers area and under the help center, you're gonna see the Lightning Forms Modern Help. And this is also linked to in several pieces of our documentation that's sent to you when you acquire the product or download a trial. So in here, there's always gonna be a getting started video right at the very top of the page. But as you scroll down, you're gonna see some other documentation and video demonstrations. And these are really in six different categories. It's not six videos, there's six categories uh, of videos and we're right here under the getting started. So I want to show you what to expect in this series. So we're in the very first video which is the overview of Lightning Forms and then we're going to move on to launching the design experience and navigating your way around the designer so that you know what is possible using Lightning Forms. And uh, you can always return home to the help center from any of these videos and uh, once you've, of course, graduated from the getting started, you can then start to focus on arranging your form layout, applying style to your forms as well, uh, creating actions, creating expressions, and also lookup columns. Uh, so we're going to go into great depth as we go through this series of documentation and videos, and this is the, the very first one. So with that in mind, um, just also Keep in mind that you can also submit a ticket in here and there's going to be plenty of chances as you navigate these videos as well. You'll see that uh, with inside the videos themselves is the get support button. So if ever you do need a helping hand, just feel free to drop a line out to our friendly team and they'll either jump on uh, and help you out or they may just respond to a question if that's what you've posted. Okay, so we're going to jump into SharePoint now, and uh, I'm currently running in SharePoint Online, but this also applies to SharePoint on-premises if you're using SharePoint 2019. And I just want to clarify, actually, that, of course, inside of SharePoint 2019, and, in fact, SharePoint Online, you've got a choice as to whether you're going to be using classic lists or whether you're going to be using modern lists. And we are focused on modern lists at the moment. You'll notice in the very uh, bottom left-hand corner, it says return to classic SharePoint. So that gives you a completely different experience. That's the experience of you know, what things were like in SharePoint 2016 and prior to that as well. Uh, but we are working in the modern experience here as well. If you're not working in the modern experience, we also have a classic version of Lightning Forms. And you'll be able to find that uh, on our website as well. If you go to lightningtools.com, click onto products, you, you'll find the uh, the classic version there. Um, or feel free to reach out to our team and we'll point you in the right direction. So uh, focusing in on the modern experience, I also just want to clarify here that uh, we're not going to be covering how to install the product. Uh, at this stage, there is a separate uh, routine for that. In fact, you'll also find that here on the help. So as you scroll down, um, you'll notice that there is this section here, resources for SharePoint and Teams administrators. And this is where you can download files from. This is where you can install uh, the, the product. Um, so there's going to be some help on, on that as well. But uh, yeah, we're going to be focusing in on actually using Lightning Forms. So the first thing uh, we're going to do is just have a look at the contrast of an out-of-the-box form versus a form that I've already edited using Lightning Forms. And the reason I'm doing that is so you can begin to expect or envision what is possible using this product. So the first thing I'll do is hit new and this form is completely out of the box. Now it is a custom list so there isn't such a thing as a purchase order uh, list template inside of SharePoint so I've created this from the custom list template and that is your very first thing that you'll do is you'll create a list and you'll define the columns that you want to have inside that list and once you've defined the columns you've created those that's when you're going to get this form where you can create new items you can also create edit items and you can display items as well but they'll all look like this they'll just be a series of different fields in a side panel and what we're going to do is use lightning forms throughout this video series in order to be able to go in and build a really powerful form uh, that uh, entails all of your business logic and is designed with a layout that is really intuitive to use. So rather than just uh, filling this out top to bottom, 
and um, as you can see there's quite a few fields and we have to do a lot of scrolling around uh, what we're going to do is just jump back out of there and I'll show you as a contrast and this might not be to everybody's taste uh, but it is to mine uh, so when I go into an existing purchase order and I edit the purchase order this is what my form looks like and this is a form that has been customized with lightning forms and you'll notice that in here there is uh, some improvements to the layouts we've got some tabs which are grouping all of the same types of fields together so it may be you know, you've got all of your address details for example and rather than seeing those in line um, I've got those side by side all underneath the ship to tab so whenever we want to populate these ship to fields we know where we need to go uh, it's to the ship to tab we're not going to be scrolling up and down a lengthy form in order to try and find out where those fields are all of our totals are here as well so we've got a separate tab for that you can see the subtotal for the purchase order we've got the sales tax and the grand total and um, finally over on the right hand side we've got the status uh, so we can check whether this purchase order has been approved whether it's pending approval that sort of thing uh, and you can see here we've also got the ability to sign it so I can scribble my signature in there and um, we can also see the green highlighted area which is actually showing me that this has been approved uh, if I put this back into a pending state manually and we want to be able to stop people from doing that I'm going to show you how to do that throughout this series as well uh, so as that's changed to pending you can see that this has gone uh, into the orange color and if it's empty that field then it's going to be red and, and so on so we can give visual clues to people um, as they're filling out this form as to what's going on or make it easy to check the status of the form as well and a little bit further down the form, we've also got the purchase order items. And the purchase order items is actually a separate SharePoint list. You'll notice it here on the left-hand side. Um, so, of course, sometimes we need that sort of one-to-many type scenario. Um, and an easy way of uh, explaining this is maybe you've got customers and you've got orders. There's always going to be multiple orders per customer. Well, we hope so anyway. Um, so, yeah, you've got that one-to-many type join there. Or if you're creating an expense form, you have expense information like you know the expense report date who the expenses are requested by who is the line manager that's going to approve those expenses etc but then you're going to have expense items we're not always just expensing one thing um, so we might have a flight we might have a train ticket we might have a meal uh, whatever it is we want to list those items and then have those total up to the main form and that's exactly what's going on here you can see we've got the the line total of a thousand and that is creating my subtotal uh, with my sales tax and my grand total inside that list there. So we're going to learn how to do that as we go through the, uh, the series as well. So watch out for the next video. The next video is going to talk about uh, the actual uh, launching of the design experience and following that we're going to also have navigating the designer. So how do we do all of these things and it's not going to be getting into deep um, depths at that point uh, we're just going to actually learn how to navigate lightning forms before getting into calculations and expressions and actions and things like that that we might also add to our forms okay so thank you for watching this video i look forward to seeing you soon on the next video many thanks bye